Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So today we're going to go over Bill Clinton versus President Trump in the year 2020. So this is just going to be completely disregarding term limits and pretty much any um, past history um, besides the 2016 general election and approval rating polls that we have at this moment. And we're just going to do essentially Bill Clinton running against President Trump. So this is going to be a very interesting map. We have two candidates who both have been charged not charged, but accused of doing um, inappropriate things with women. And we're going to see how that plays out on this map. And plus, Bill Clinton coming from a southern state, working in the Bible Belt. Um, we'll see how that affects Donald Trump's really solid concrete base in the south. So we're going to go through all the safe um, Bill Clinton states. So that would pretty much be the western coast. All the safe Trump states would be... Um, a lot of these states that went for him in 2016, but there are going to be some that are going to be contested. So states like Montana, would I, con I would consider, would be contested. But in the second con congressional district from the state of Nebraska, that one I don't want to touch just yet. Texas, I think, would be too close. Um, <clears throat> pretty much any state Bill Clinton won over here, what I think, would be too close. West Virginia, I'm not going to touch just yet. South Carolina, Alabama, Mississippi. Pretty much, these are all the safe Democratic state, uh, safe Republican states. So that really puts Trump at a general disadvantage, considering Bill Clinton coming in with um, more electoral votes than the president and the fact that he is running for a third term. But we're just not going to consider that yet. So we're just going to go through all the safe Democratic states. Um, <clears throat> pretty much, the Northeast in general would be safe Democratic. Um, Vermont, Maine. All of Maine, I think, would be safe Democratic. In the state of New Hampshire, I think that one could be classified as safe Democrat just because of the fact that um, Donald Trump has made comments about the state itself, and that's really lowered his approval ratings there. In Michigan, um, <clears throat> pretty much the Rust Belt in general, his approval ratings are really underwater there. They're actually higher in Minnesota than they are in the Rust Belt. And a state like Virginia, um, <clears throat> I think that one would be safe blue. New Mexico would be safe blue. And pretty much this is, these are the safe blue states. I know the map looks really weird right now, but this these are pretty much the safe blue states. So Bill Clinton has 254 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 63. Clear disadvantage for the president, and that's going to be like really um, detrimental to his campaign if, that, if this actually occurs. But it obviously won't because Bill Clinton can't run again. But this is just a scenario. So um, right now we're going to go through the rest of the map. So... Minnesota, we know that the rest of the Rust Belt is going blue. Minnesota is most likely going to go blue. Um, Bill Clinton, would, I think, would unify the Democratic Party, although he comes from a more conservative part of the Democratic Party. I think he would unify it, even though he does have that Clinton last name <clears throat> and all those scandals behind him. These were years ago, and his approval rating has since gone up higher and um, <clears throat> since the 2016 general election. And we all know that history is going to tell us that Nevada is going to go blue, making Bill Clinton the next president along with Colorado, <clears throat> a lot of these states that went for his wife would probably stay in his column. So Bill Clinton won the state of Arizona, Montana, Georgia, um, all once. And these are states and are probably going to be hotly contested. Air Arkansas, since Hillary's not the one at the top of the ticket, um, I think Bill Clinton would carry the state. Now that's going to look really weird seeing that tiny bit of blue, but um, that's what it comes with, the home state benefactor. And so we're gonna ha we have 285 electoral votes. Donald Trump still at 63. So let's be a little more realistic about some states that he would possibly win. Indiana, um, you could see that one going for Donald Trump because of Mike Pence. But other than that, um, that one probably won't be competitive. I mean, other than that, that state probably would be competitive. Louisiana probably would go to President Trump, um, <clears throat> giving him 82 electoral votes. Bill Clinton narrowly won it. And he actually wasn't supposed to win it, but he did anyway. Um, Kentucky, Tennessee, Missouri, West Virginia, all these states I think would be really close. I think Bill Clinton would make inroads with a lot of those Clinton Demo Clinton Republicans that voted for the Democrats or the Democrats that, the Republicans that switched from the Democratic Party. I think he could win a lot of those back, especially with his low approval ratings in these states. Um, in Texas, that one, I think that one, you know, that one's going to be really contested. I think there is a huge possibility of that turning blue, but we're going to talk about it in a second. Arizona, um, I think Bill Clinton could actually win this state. Now, the reason behind it is I think he would bring out a lot of those minority voters. With Trump's approval ratings dropping every day in the state, 
I think Bill Clinton would be able to do well here. Same thing in the state of Ohio, a state that Bill Clinton carried both times. I think he would carry the state again, even with the solid Trump base down there. Again, approval ratings are dropping nationwide across almost every state. His highest approval rating in any state is 60%, which tells you a lot. Um, he won well over 60% of the vote in multiple states. In a state like Florida, with climate change becoming a top-notch issue in this state, I don't really see a pathway for the president against um, Bill Clinton. I think Bill Clinton can do phenomenal in these southern states, and I think he would be able to carry this state. Um, <clears throat> the state of Tennessee, I think that one would go to President Trump. It really only flipped because um, it actually only went for Bill Clinton because of Al Gore, but pretty much I think that one would be safe. Re not safe red, but I think it would go to the Republicans. In Iowa, I think Bill Clinton would carry that state. I don't think it would be that much of a competition, but I think it would be with less than 5%, but I think Bill Clinton would be able to carry that state. Um, <clears throat> West Virginia, I think West Virginia would actually come back on this one. Um, although Donald Trump has a 60% approval rating in this state, I think that Bill Clinton would be able to carry a lot of those Democrats that voted for Joe Manchin, that voted for the governor that switched to the Republican Party, Jim Justice. And really the state itself is not that partisan they do vote in democrats every so often and i think they would vote for bill clinton <clears throat> in a state like montana donald trump's approval ratings are not so high here i think that bill clinton could win the state again same thing out of the state of georgia i really think that the african-american vote would come out for bill clinton again um they came out for her his her his wife in the 2016 democratic primaries and i think they'll do it again same thing, same case here with the African American population in a state like North Carolina. I think that Bill Clinton would be able to carry the state even with all those scandals behind him because Donald Trump probably has more equal scandals to, um, with Bill Clinton. And then in Nebraska, I think that one was close for the for Hillary Clinton and dynamics were different back in 1992 and 1996. I think it would have flipped this time. And in a state like Missouri, um, pretty much a conservative Democratic state I think that Bill Clinton would carry that state, especially since he could bring back a lot of those voters that he won in his in his two elections that he won by. And in Kentucky, you know, that one's going to be really close. Um, uh, Donald Trump probably would do well there, you know, just with the Clinton last name. I think that would hurt Bill Clinton enough. I think those electoral votes would go to Donald Trump. Now in a state like Texas, I think Texas would actually go to Bill Clinton. My reasoning behind that is I think a lot of the Democratic vote would come out, and I think that um, based off where Bill Clinton did in twenty in 1992, I think he would be able to make better inroads and actually turn out the Latinos and turn out those Republicans who are thinking about voting for a conservative Democrat to vote and voting for him. So this is the final electoral map, 437 electoral votes, and electoral college landslide for Bill Clinton to Donald Trump's 101. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you all tomorrow.